hello out there welcome to this tutorial is still on differential calculus in this video we'll be looking at function of a function given the functions y equal to f of u and u equals to g of x that is y is a function of u and u is a function of x so to find the y the x we find the y the u and the u the x so that the y the x will be equal to the y the u times the u the x this is called chain rule for differentiation we are going to look at some examples so solved examples we start with example one for example one find the derivative of each of the following with respect to x a y equal to 7x squared plus 3 all to the power of 5 b y is equal to 3 over 2 minus 3x all to the power of 2 that we start the solution from problem 1a um, in the application of the chain rule this is the chain rule um, here we are given y as a function of x and uh, by chain rule we need to create a function u from uh, the given function so we our method of getting the function is what is to the given power what is to the given power will be our u so if you look at this function we have 7x squared plus 3 in bracket then to the power of 5 so that 7x squared plus 3 will be taken as u so we let u be equal to 7x squared plus 3 so in that case now our y will be u raised to power 5 since this is 7x squared plus 3 is u so replace it with u you now have y equal to u raised to the power of 5 then with this uh, new functions we are going to differentiate u with respect to x then we differentiate y with respect to u so we have uh, the u the x to differentiate this uh, function uh, i multiply the power by the coefficient which is 14 and uh, reduce this power of x by 1 it should give you 14x then the derivative of a constant is zero therefore the derivative of u with respect to x is 14x then we go ahead the y the u we are differentiating y with respect to u so multiply by the power and reduce the power by one so we have five u to the power of a uh, four so we can go ahead here and substitute in the value of u which is 7x squared plus 3 so we now have it as 5 into 7x squared plus 3 to the power of uh, 4 so by this chain rule we can find the y the x the y the x is the y the u multiplied by the u the x what is our the y the u that is 5 into 7x squared plus 3 to the power of 4 then multiply by the u dx which is 14x so 14 times uh, 5 will give us a uh, 70x outside the bracket then 7x squared plus 3 to the power of uh, 4 so this is the differential coefficient also known as the derivative of the function given in problem 1a on a normal good day we can quickly find the derivative without going through this long process so we can say the y the x first we differentiate what is inside these brackets 
differentiating what is inside the bracket that is carrying the power so differentiating this 7x squared will give us 14x which we have here you keep the 14x then multiply by this power here so we multiply by 5 then bring in the bracket reduce this power by 1 so that's going to be 4 we have it to the power of 4 so that our answer will be equal to this which is the same thing with this so we can follow this shortcut depending on your curriculum please and again by the time we'll be solving problems on product rule or quotient rule you might not need to go these long processes so you just follow this and you get the derivative and uh, so on so in our next video which is going to be on product rule we'll be looking at something of this nature so we we'll go to problem 1b so for problem 1b uh, I have y equal to 3 over 2 minus 3x all to the power of 2 we are going to write this in index form so we write this in index form we keep the numerator keeping the numerator bringing up the denominator this power will change to negative 2 so we now have it as 2 minus 3x to the power of negative 2 we can now keep this 3 remember in our previous video we said if uh, a constant is multiplying a function we can find the derivative of that function then multiply by the constant so we keep this uh, so we keep the constant here then we now let what is inside this bracket to be u so we let u be equal to 2 minus 3x then and uh, at that point y will be u to the power of negative 2 u will be to the power of negative uh, 2 we find the u dx finding the u dx the derivative of a constant is 0 so we have negative 3x to be differentiated the power of x here is 1 times negative 3 we give you negative 3 and uh, reducing the power which is 1 we become x raised to power 0 and x raised to power 0 is 1 so multiplying the negative 3 by 1 we see give us a negative uh, 3 we go to find the y du the y du we multiply by the negative 2 and reduce the power by 1 that's going to give us u negative 2 u raised to power negative 3 because negative 2 minus 1 will give us negative 3 so the y du will give us negative 2 u to the power of negative uh, 3 we can now bring it in u bringing in u we have it as negative 2 into 2 minus 3 x all to the power of negative 3 um, from here we can then find the y the x to find the y the x is as good as now we can now bring in our constant we left behind that's going to give us a 3 multiply by the u dx since multiplication is commutative anyone can come first so multiply by negative uh, 3 then multiply by the y the u which is negative 2 into 2 minus 3 x all to the power of a uh, negative 3 so we multiply out 3 times negative 3 gives negative 9 negative 9 times negative 2 gives positive 18 so we have 18 then we bring in the bracket to the power of negative uh, 3 this is the derivative of the function in problem 1b we can apply quicker method of solving this uh, derivative that is we concentrate on this that we have transformed to index form 
so that the y the x will be you multiply you are going to bring in this constant then find the derivative of what we have inside the bracket which is here negative 3 multiplied by negative uh, 3 then we are multiplying by the power that's multiplied by negative uh, 2 into the bracket itself then we reduce the power by 1 that's negative 2 minus 1 will give us a uh, negative uh, 3 this will give us 3 times negative 3 gives negative 9 18 into 2 minus 3 x to the power of negative 3 which is still the same thing with this so we are done with this uh, problem we go to problem 2 for problem 2 find the y the x of each of the following functions so these are radical functions um, here we start with uh, the first problem we are going to write this in index form that's going to give us uh, since this is square root we have 5 minus 6 x raised to power 3 then the square root now will now be to the power of half if we have it cube root it will be to the power of 1 over 3 if we have it fourth root it will be to the power of 1 over 4 from here we can now let u to be what is inside this bracket since it is carrying this uh, power here so we let u be equal to 5 minus 6x cube and y becomes u raised to power half so we find the u the x the derivative of a constant is uh, 0 so the derivative of minus 6x cube we give us 3 times 6 gives uh, 18 that's negative 18 we reduce the power by 1 we have negative 18 squared and uh, the y the u we bring in the power which is a uh, 1 over 2 reduce the power by 1 if you reduce the power by 1 half minus 1 gives negative half so we have it as u raised to power negative uh, half um, we go ahead to substitute the value of u in the y the u, u so we now have it as half into 5 minus 6 x cubed to the power of negative half I can have it as fraction like this I can have it as fraction like this since this power is negative the root here is representing the half and 1 over 2 is at the denominator here so we can go ahead now to find the y dx so our dy dx is this multiplied by this so we have negative 18 x squared multiplied by 1 over 2 root 5 minus 6 x cubed from here these two can go two goes here one two goes here nine so we'll be left with negative nine x squared times one we give us a negative nine x squared over root five minus six x cubed this is the derivative of the function in two a so we go to problem two b in two b we have a y equal to 1 over cube root of 2x squared minus 7 again we write it in index form writing it in index form uh, this is cube root it becomes the power of what is inside this root will be 1 over 3 because it is a fraction it becomes negative so that we have it as 2x squared minus 7 to the power of negative 1 over 3 so again we let what is inside the bracket to be u so we let u be equal to 2x squared minus 7 and y be equal to u raised to power negative 1 over 3 so from here we find the u dx finding the u dx we are going to have 4x here since this is a constant and the derivative of a constant is 0 so the u dx is 4x we find the y the u the y the u here first we multiply by the 
index which is negative 1 over 3 we subtract 1 from the index that's going to give us a uh, negative 4 over 3 and uh, we have it as u to the power of negative 4 over 3 we can now bring in the u substitute in u here we have uh, negative 1 over 3 2x squared minus 7 raised to the power of negative 4 over 3 that will give us negative 1 over if we write it as a fraction because of the negative here so it becomes a fraction the 1 over 3 is negative 1 over 3 here we are there now we find the y dx to find the y dx is just to multiply this and this multiplying this and this we are going to have negative 4x over the denominator here and this guy is the derivative of the function in 2b so this is the end of solution to problem b and this is the highest we can take in this uh, tutorial check the description section of this particular video on our youtube channel for other videos on differential calculus i hope you enjoyed this uh, video please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel like and share this video until we come your way again goodbye